Christina Tedesco, the set designer for the Shirley Vermont um, Play Festival. And this is the set for Circle Mirror Transformation. It uh, takes place in a community center, an acting studio, and this is our space. The play takes place right here in this one location. Marty is the teacher, the acting teacher. They don't do a lot of acting though, it's a lot of role playing and games, acting games. And the four of them each get intertwined in different ways and their relationships develop and deepen uh, throughout the play. The style of this set came about by talking with the director, Amelia Van Susan. We talked a lot about Edward Hopper, who depicts very common, typical, and beautiful um, scenes of typical American life. It's a simple room. One thing that it had to be was very typical, and it also had to allow for very um, quick exits and entrances. So there are two um, exits on the upstage side of the right and left walls um, that you can't really see from the house. So that is a very quick way for an actor to easily do um, an exit in a blackout. Each of the three plays I sort of have an element like this. Uh, a bulletin board of some kind, or in body awareness, I have the refrigerator, which holds all kinds of things that describe what Shirley Vermont, what's happening in Shirley Vermont. In particular, this Moominshans poster, I found um, I found one very similar in a Brattleboro, Vermont cafe one Saturday, and I thought it would be perfect for the Shirley Vermont <laughs> festival. Studio Theater on the set for Body Awareness, uh, which is a story about a lesbian couple who live with their son Jared. Um, Phyllis is a teacher at Shirley State College, and it's Body Awareness Week at the college. So there are a number of artists being invited um, to celebrate body awareness in all kinds of ways. One of these artists is a photographer, Frank who comes to stay at their house. And with the arrival of Frank comes upheaval in their um, very stable, liberal household. There are four different spaces, and it's less real in that way and more dramatic. The idea behind um, the set for Body Awareness was not to have any walls, nothing that would inhibit the transitions of scenes and inhibit flow between the spaces. We needed some sort of box or frame. So what I thought of was using um, pine boards, wainscoting, um, and creating a box um, that floats above the actors, basically above seven feet. Um, that encapsulates their world and also invites the audience into their space. In the kitchen, we wanted the action to be as real as possible, so we have a working sink. Um, we would have liked to have a working stove, but that, that was a little, um, proved a little too complicated. Evan is um, an employee there and comes out and discovers that there are people out here and they shouldn't be out here, but he slowly realizes that they have something um, to teach him in an indirect way. Each of the three Shirley Vermont sets or plays have a different degree of realism and naturalism, and I feel like this one ended up having the most naturalism. Almost everything that you see had been used in some other way. 
the siding had been on an old building in Dorchester that we noticed uh, was being torn down. And um, the owner of the building let us uh, salvage these pieces. So we were able to create a level of um, realism that we would not have been able to create in such a small space where the audience is five to 10 feet away from the set. The electric meter ended up being a very important thing for me to find and not give up on, even though it was a very difficult thing to find. Um, we had a bunch of leads that fell through until I spoke to a very nice person at NSTAR, and he actually called me back, and he said I could have two. Um, but we only had one shell, uh, so the original design I had two meters there. This door actually was found just like this with this slash and I and I thought oh great that's gritty that's real um, but maybe it's too much maybe we'll have to uh, repair it but when I saw everything together I, I loved it like this so we kept that as is.